Congratulations on your new job and welcome to UC Santa Cruz. We're happy you're joining us. We'll share a little about the culture and history of UC Santa Cruz, what it's like to work here, and how to find the information you need on essential websites. We'll help you get ready to thrive with some tips on slug life, transportation and parking, health and wellness programs, and the systems we work with. Let's get started. The founding of UC Santa Cruz was unique in the history of the UC system and even in the history of higher education. UC Santa Cruz was designed to offer a completely different experience than that available at other larger UC campuses. The goal was to provide students smaller living and learning communities within the campus based on the residential college system at Oxford, rather than one large and perhaps overwhelming campus. Most colleges are built in pairs with a shared dining hall. Each college has a different academic theme as reflected in each college's unique and mandatory core course. However, students in any college can study any major. UCSC prioritizes and focuses on the undergraduate student experience, which can even include being directly involved in faculty research. The university's mission is one of education, research, and public service. These goals are only realized when students, faculty, and staff collaborate together. The contribution of each employee is valued and essential to the university's mission. You're going to learn much more in your first days with UC Santa Cruz. The next videos let you explore campus history, programs, services, and training opportunities available to you, and how to search and learn more about UC Santa Cruz. We welcome you and wish you a fruitful time as a University of California employee. UCSC has multiple sites for work and research located around Santa Cruz. If you'll be working on the main campus, you'll need to know about the different options for getting there. At UC Santa Cruz, sustainability is a big part of who we are and what we value. Transportation and Parking Services, or TAPS, manages transportation access to the campus with a focus on sustainable transportation methods. Using an alternative to driving alone, even if it's just one day a week, will help UCSC reach its campus sustainability goals. Campus commuting methods include walking, cycling, public bus transit, carpooling, and vanpooling. To address unpredictable situations, TAPS offers an emergency ride home program for employees who choose to use an alternative to driving alone at least one day a week. Therefore, there's no need to worry about being stuck on campus without a car in an emergency. Two transit systems service the UCSC campus. The fare-free campus shuttle system operated by TAPS and the county-wide bus system operated by the Santa Cruz Metropolitan Transit District, or Metro. TAPS offers a significantly subsidized employee bus pass for the Metro system that makes it a great commute bargain. With service throughout the county, employees find the Metro bus to be a safe and convenient way to get to and from campus. Cycling is an increasingly popular commute option. Because of the hilly terrain, UCSC offers a bike shuttle on weekday mornings from the west side of Santa Cruz. Cyclists load their bikes on a trailer and catch a ride up to campus. The downhill ride home is exhilarating. If you need to take your car to work each day, consider sharing the ride. TAPS offers a reduced price carpool parking permit and reserved parking spaces. To find a carpool partner, you can use Zimride, a free online ride matching program just for the UCSC community. Carpooling not only reduces your carbon footprint, but also saves you money. 
If you have the same work schedule every week, consider vanpooling. TAPS manages a vanpool program that uses trained volunteer drivers who operate 12 passenger vans to and from campus each weekday. There are currently van pools that serve locations such as Mountain View, Watsonville, and Monterey, with many points in between. Drivers and backup drivers pay a reduced fare, and all participants receive complimentary scratch-off permits for times when they need to bring their own cars to campus. Van pooling is not only a stress-free way to get to work, but it's also a great way to meet new people and learn about the campus. Many van pool participants find a special small community and many friendships in their daily commute to work. If you don't drive to campus, but have an occasional need to run an errand or attend an off-campus meeting, consider using Zipcar. Zipcar is a membership-based car rental program that provides self-service access to vehicles on campus 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hourly prices include gas, insurance, mileage, and reserved parking on campus. Many departments have a Zipcar account specifically for business-related travel. If using an alternative to driving alone won't work for you, you may purchase a parking permit. There are several types of permits, but the most popular for staff include A permits, which provide access to most close-in parking lots, R, or remote permits, a lower-priced option that allows for parking in one of the remote lots, and N, or night permits, which provide close-in parking after 3.30 p.m. If you only need to drive to campus occasionally, you can purchase packets of single-day A or R scratch-off permits. If you work less than five days a week and have a regular schedule of one, two, three, or four days a week, you can purchase a limited day permit for a reduced rate. Limited day permits are valid only on the days of the week you designate. Most permits can be purchased for a month, a quarter, an academic year, or a full year. Eligible employees may purchase most permits by payroll deduction. More information about all of these options, including the current cost of parking permits, is available online at the TAPS website. The website also provides information about charging electric vehicles, disability-related parking, motorcycle parking, and parking meters and pay stations. Staff at the TAPS sales office can advise you about everything we've covered here, and the Transportation Demand Management Coordinator at TAPS can talk with you about your specific commute situation. Once you're on campus, the best way to get around is to walk. Walking can involve sidewalks, stairs, wooded trails, and hills, so wear comfortable shoes and prepare for all weathers. You can find walking maps online at the Campus Maps website or at the TAPS sales office. The TAPS sales office is located near the base of campus, near the campus police department. Parking enforcement is part of the police department. If you are ever issued a parking citation, you can pay or appeal your citation online. But if you need to talk to someone about it, their office is located in this building. If you move around campus during class breaks, you're likely to see another program operated by TAPS, the Traffic Control Program. Trained students wearing yellow vests and gloves direct traffic at major campus intersections during peak periods. This program was started to keep transit buses moving as efficiently as possible, but other vehicles benefit too. It also helps keep the campus's large pedestrian population safe. The original design of the campus called for siting the residential colleges along the periphery and the academic buildings in the campus core. Most of the colleges were built as pairs with a shared dining hall. Here we see Cowell and Stevenson, 
Crown and Merrill, Colleges 9 and 10, Kresge, Porter, Rachel Carson, and Oaks. This is where the Baskin School of Engineering is, and this area is referred to as Science Hill. You can see the Physical Sciences Building, the Biomedical Building, the Interdisciplinary Sciences Building, and the Natural Sciences Building. Here's the Arts area, with Theater Arts, Visual Arts, our world-class Music Center Recital Hall, and the Digital Arts Research Center. Here's McHenry Library, our largest library. There's a cafe there and a lot of great places to sit with a book and look out into the Redwoods. This area is called Quarry Plaza. Our bookstore is located there, as well as a conference center and a restaurant. And right back here is the Quarry Amphitheater, a beautiful place to bring your lunch and enjoy a very peaceful setting. Most colleges have a coffee shop, and there are a number of coffee carts in some of the larger academic buildings. Faculty and staff can also purchase lunch at any dining hall. The UC Santa Cruz Arboretum and Botanic Garden has a large collection of plants from Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa, as well as from California. The Center for Agriculture and Sustainable Food Systems has a working farm here and a farm cart at the Barn Theater where you can buy fresh produce during harvest season. The Campus Historic District is where you can see some of the buildings that were in use in the 1800s when this was the Cowell Ranch and had a large lime kiln operation. There are many ways to get to the UCSC campus besides driving alone. Check with the staff at the TAP sales office to learn about your options, to sign up for a van pool, or to purchase a parking permit. Once you're on campus, take advantage of the beautiful surroundings by walking whenever you can. It's not only the most sustainable means of getting around campus, but it's also often the quickest. Use a campus walking map to help you find your way and start discovering your own favorite places and views. Thank you for watching. Because your health and well-being are important, UC Santa Cruz offers a variety of wellness and fitness options. The Office of Physical Education, Recreation, and Sports, or OPERS, offers a variety of classes and fitness assessments to UCSC employees. Check out the FitLife website to read class descriptions, check the schedule, or purchase a pass to use OPERS facilities. Check out the swimming pools, tennis and basketball courts, and the gym. Free mindfulness meditation sessions are offered both on and off campus. These are great for managing stress or learning how to deal with many new things at once, including a new job. Lunchtime sessions taught by different facilitators are available at a number of different locations, so please drop in and join us. We want you to be comfortable and healthy in your new workspace. All UCSC employees who use a computer as part of their normal work activities are strongly encouraged to complete the UCSC Online Computer Ergonomics Training and Self-Assessment. The training provides a wealth of tips and ideas on how to adjust your workstation to improve comfort, safety, and efficiency. Upon request, an ergonomic assessor can come to your workstation and help you evaluate what you need to prevent injury and remain pain-free. Specialized equipment may be available to accommodate health needs. UCSC aspires to be an environment that values and supports every person as indicated in our principles of community. 
We strive not only to embrace diversity, but to celebrate it. The Diversity and Inclusion Certificate Program for staff, faculty, and graduate students is an innovative and effective program taught by topic experts. It is widely popular and a model for other campuses across the nation. The program is designed to offer participants an in-depth examination of diversity and differences to help them gain a greater understanding of how we can and why we should work together to build a stronger and more inclusive UC Santa Cruz community. Registration for wellness offerings, professional development and training opportunities, ergonomic training, and the Diversity and Inclusion Certificate Program are available online. You can register for classes on technical skills, ergonomics, interpersonal skills, dealing with difficult interactions, the Diversity and Inclusion Certificate, and many more. You will receive access to the UC Learning Center shortly after your start date. Be an active slug. Take advantage of the opportunities for health and well-being at UC Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching. We want you to be comfortable with university websites so you can find things and start learning on your own. There is a lot to know, from passwords and Wi-Fi services to setting up your benefits and reporting your time. But we've tried to make it easy so you can get to the good stuff your new job. First, let's talk about your cruise ID. This will be your key to a lot of major systems online. You will have two important passwords, gold and blue. Keep both handy. When attempting to access a secured online UCSE location, you will see a gold password or blue password icon on the login screen so you know which one to use. There are specific security requirements for systems that handle gold passwords that aren't in place for those that require blue passwords. For example, you will use your blue password to log into email or the secured campus wireless system called Eduroam. You will use the gold password to log into the UC Learning Center, Cruise Pay to log your hours, and to request IT support. Next, let's take a look at some commonly used websites. We'll start with the university's homepage. You are going to meet a lot of new people, and you may need to look them up to see their contact information. The People section allows you to look up someone affiliated with the university. You can even look for someone by just their first name. People will also want to find you, so remember to log in using your Cruise ID Gold password and update your information in the campus directory. Calendars gives you a glimpse of events, key dates, administrative calendars, your personal Google Calendar, and professional learning and development opportunities. Maps and directions allows you to see and download a variety of maps and provides directions to the city of Santa Cruz and the university. You will likely hear a lot of acronyms while working at UCSC, and the A to Z index is an excellent place to look them up. The Information for Faculty and Staff section has a variety of information for you to explore, including an organization chart. Every Tuesday, you will receive an emailed bulletin containing the university's latest news headlines, as well as information, updates, and announcements of interest to university staff. Of course, there is more to explore from the university's homepage, but we almost forgot the most important section, the search field. When you have no idea where to go, start with search. 
Just make sure that you return to the university homepage first so you are searching all UCSC's sites. Next, we're going to talk about Google Apps. Every UCSC employee has access to Google Apps for Education, a suite of online software that includes email, calendar, and shared documents and spreadsheets. Use your blue password to access Google Apps. To learn more about using Google for work, search for Google Apps on the home page. This page has helpful tips and how-to videos. You can also find information about attending a class on the Google app of your choice. You can sign up in the UC Learning Center, so let's go there next. How do you get there? An easy way is to use the search function. The UC Learning Center requires your gold password. You can register for a variety of classes, both online and in person, on the website. You'll be able to access mandatory training here as well. You can find a specific course by name or browse the library for training opportunities. Explore the UC Learning Center to see what might benefit you in your new job. There are two wireless options for staff, Eduroam and CruiseNet. Eduroam is a secure encrypted network. Once you sign up, you can use it at many other higher ed institutions and even overseas. You will need your blue password to access Eduroam. CruiseNet is insecure and intended for guest use only. You will find information on how to use these services here. CruiseNet and Eduroam are available on campus and at the Scotts Valley Center, the Coastal Science Campus, and UCSC Silicon Valley Extension. Wired Ethernet connections within workplaces are also available and secure. Now let's talk about a really important part of being a UC employee, benefits. There are two sources of information for benefits. A lot of information, including UCSC staff contacts for questions about benefits, can be found at the Staff Human Resources website. Detailed information about insurance and retirement is available at the UC system-wide website called UCNet. To get there, search for benefits on the home page. Select Benefits and navigate to UCNet. Take some time on this site and research your benefit options. Visit At Your Service Online during your first two weeks to 30 days of work to make your selections. You can set up your beneficiaries, health benefits, and tax withholdings. You can also set up direct deposit, see your earnings to date, and complete your W-2 forms. You have 31 days to make your health plan enrollment elections. Many positions on this campus are retirement eligible. Some positions require the new employee to make a choice between two retirement plan options. If this applies to you, you have 90 days to make your selection. Some represented employees are automatically enrolled in a retirement plan 30 days from their start date. These are really important deadlines, so please make sure to complete your selections before those deadlines pass. You will receive more information when you review your onboarding packet. Staff HR offers a variety of benefits workshops, including a helpful benefits orientation and retirement savings program workshops. You should plan to attend the workshops that interest you within your first 30 days of employment. Last, let's talk about Cruise Pay, the website where you record your work hours, vacation, and sick time. Hourly and salaried employees use Cruise Pay differently. 
hourly employees need to report their hours worked bi-weekly. Salaried employees report their sick or vacation time once at the end of the month. If you are an hourly employee, you can view important dates on the pay dates for bi-weekly operations schedule. You can see the date you need to input your time by and which days are paydays. There is a lot of important information on how to use Cruise Pay here. When you're ready to fill out your time card, launch Cruise Pay using your Cruise ID and Gold password. If you have questions about how to record your hours, contact your timekeeper or consult your manager. Please replay this video as often as you need for reminders on how to get plugged in at UC Santa Cruz. Thanks for watching. You're new and probably feel like there's a lot to do and to learn. So here's a video to remind you what you should get done now, during your first two weeks, first month, and within your first 90 days. First, if you haven't already, get fingerprinted. There are two forms that make up the request to get fingerprinted. You will notice that step one is for your manager to complete. Ask them if they have submitted a request form for your fingerprinting. If they haven't yet done that, then ask them to submit the request. Then you can do step two, which is for you to submit a request form too. It has a space to fill in more personal information that only you would know, such as your height and weight. Fingerprinting Services has limited days and hours, so check before you go. You'll need to go to the Baskin Engineering Building. The live scan service is located near the loading dock. Be sure to take a valid form of ID with you when you go for fingerprinting. For employees who do not live or work near campus, you will follow the same steps but answer no to the do you plan to get fingerprinted on campus question. You will be given instructions on what to do next and be provided with alternative locations for fingerprinting. Next up is getting a few things done during your first two weeks at work. First set up direct deposit for your paycheck. Visit at your service online during your first two weeks to set up direct deposit with your bank information. While you are here, we strongly suggest you also designate your tax withholdings. Be sure to complete your mandatory training soon after starting work. Everyone needs to complete cybersecurity and sexual harassment training. Remember that you'll take those classes online at the UC Learning Center. You have 31 days to make your health plan enrollment elections. After reviewing and deciding on your health and benefit options at UCNet or attending an in-person benefit session, go to At Your Service Online to select your health, dental, vision, and insurance choices. Make sure you add all of your beneficiaries. Many positions on this campus are retirement eligible. Some positions require the new employee to make a choice between two retirement plan options. If this applies to you, you have 90 days to make your selection. Some represented employees are automatically enrolled in a retirement plan 30 days from their start date. These are really important deadlines, so please make sure to complete your selections before those deadlines pass. You will receive more information when you review your onboarding packet. That's it. Remember to take care of your fingerprinting right away. Go to At Your Service Online to set up direct deposit and designate tax withholdings. Research health and benefit options at UCNet. Sign up for health and benefit options on At Your Service Online. If eligible, sign up for your retirement option on At Your Service Online. Thank you for watching.